Hey there, YouTubers! Um, so I haven't done a video in a while, and I thought I had some videos scheduled um, on YouTube to upload every month or so, but apparently um, I must have goofed up and missed a month. So you'll be getting another video after this one in just a few days, I think, because I just checked the uh, video log that I have going. Um, but for right now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Yes, as the title says. I wrote a musical. Um, it's a musical about disabilities. It's called The Disability Diaries. Um, it took me a few years to write, but I wasn't working on it, like, religiously. I would work on it a little bit and then stop and then work on it and stop. So, um, there are ten songs. It's about an hour long, maybe slightly over an hour. Um... If you include, like, um, interlude scene changes, stuff like that. For r right now, all I, I have had one reading of it, which was super duper exciting for me. Um, in the midst of this summer, which I had two surgeries, and I'll get to those things in a little bit, um, and a few other things, um, there was a reading of my musical, which I was like, oh my god, this is the most amazing Thing I've ever done in my life and um, every time I think that I'm like okay this is like this is the most when I released my first album uh, when I was like 20 I don't know uh, junior in college 21 or so I was like oh man this is this is like the most amazing thing I've ever done I'll never do anything to top this and then I was in hair directed by Ben Vereen a few years ago and I was just like oh my god this is amazing I will never do anything to top this um, but, um, gotta watch the hair. Um, and now I've written this musical and I'm, and for a while it was just like, okay, I have, I, I wrote a musical, it's on paper, blah, blah, you know, whatever. But now I had a reading and it's like actually a thing and there were audience members and there were like harmonies and actors and just, and direction. It's like, it's just like completely mind blowing to me. Um, so that happened August 15th, in between the two surgeries that I had. Um, so I will, there's a video of it, and I'm going to link you to the video in the, uh, description or notes of this video. So, uh, ch definitely check that out if you can. It's, I, I think it's good. I've had a lot of positive feedback for it, and, um... You know, certain people like certain songs, other people like other songs. I, in particular, like one song a whole lot. I mean, I don't dislike any of them, but um, ever, it seems like everybody that I've shown it to it seems to find, like, one or two things that they really enjoy about it, and it's usually different than what I hear from other people. So that's kind of cool. And I've already gotten suggestions on how to improve it and make it better, and that's really cool. Uh, basically, everybody's just been really positive and, like, supportive and everything about it so far. Which is awesome, because you don't want to, like, spend years of your life working on something and then show it to people and they're just like, oh, it sucks. Uh, but I haven't had that happen. Um, I'm sure I will at some point, but so far, it hasn't. Um, so there's that. I will link you to that. Um, I will also link you to... I actually, this happened like a year or two ago, but there's finally a video of it online. I was an extra in a, in a short film that was shot down um, in Florida where I live during the winter, um, Sarasota, Florida, mostly. And um, so there's a video of that now online, so you can check that out. I will link you to that also. Um, and I guess the only thing I'm really left to talk about is um, the surgeries. So I did a video right before the first surgery, which failed. The, the surgeon was not able to get the kidney stone out because my body is just kind of weird on the inside, apparently. Um, and so I had this stent in me from that surgery for about five weeks. I was only supposed to have it in for a week or two, but because the, the, surgery, the first surgery was so difficult, um, my doctor wanted to leave the stent in longer. And it was going to be four weeks, but <laughs> my surgeon, my doctor was on vacation that week, so it ended up being five weeks. And it really sucked because I didn't feel like myself the entire time that it was in, and I, 
had to pee like pretty much every half an hour. And when I had to pee, it was like, okay, I have to pee right now. And I did not have any time to be like, oh, I have to pee. I should probably get to the bathroom soon. A couple minutes later. Yeah, I should probably get to the bathroom. No, it was just like, I got to pee and it's got to be now. Otherwise, I'm going to pee my pants. And I'm not really ashamed to admit that I peed my pants a few times while I had to stand in. Um, not a whole lot, just like dribbles, but that uh, almost never happens to me um, without the stent. So, any uh that was a lot of fun. Not. Um, but then the five weeks, five weeks went by, and I got the stent out, and thankfully everything was back to normal in terms of, like, peeing and urgency to pee and stuff like that. Um, but, of course, the kidney stone is still in, so probably at some point I'm going to have to have something else done for it. I definitely won't have the stent done again. Um, more than likely I'll do the lithotripsy, which is the shockwave stuff, but, um, I don't anticipate doing that in the next year or two because this, the two surgeries I had and the stent were, were just like super duper traumatic. And I had trouble with the uh, antibiotic from the, for the first surgery. Uh, basically I couldn't eat anything for a week. Um, I, which meant I didn't go to the bathroom, number two, for a, a, a little more than a week. Um, I, I just had... Uh, a whole, a whole, a whole bunch of problems with, with the antibiotic and the surgery in general. It was just, it was totally way more than I was expecting. Um, and quite frankly, um, I'm amazed that I was able to do the reading for my musical in between all of that, because as I mentioned, I had to pee about every half an hour or so. And, um, so, and I mentioned that the musical is, it's basically a one act, about an hour. Um, but when we had the reading, I told the person that helped me or organize it, I was like, yo, since I have to pee like every half an hour, 45 minutes ish, um, probably a good idea if we take an intermission around 30 minutes. Um, so normally I wouldn't have to do that cause I can go an hour or two hours, maybe more than two hours without peeing sometimes. Um, but definitely, yeah, definitely more than an hour, usually, usually around two, two and a half. Um, but I was like, I, you know, I'm, I may not make it through the hour, probably won't make it through the hour. So rather than being like, oh my God, I have to be right now. And like, we have to stop things. It's probably better if we plan to stop things at a certain place. So we did and it was cool. And I, I was like able to do it, which was good. Um, but looking back, I'm kind of amazed that I did it at all because I was playing guitar. I was reading a part in the musical. I was doing some directing for the show it was there was just a whole lot and being that I had the stent in me it was just I I, I I can't I really can't believe that I actually made it through the whole thing but it turned out really well I got through it and um, I'm I'm I am really proud of of this show I wrote um, it's very personal to me uh, although it's not exclusively about me a lot of it is I did have input from some of my friends who have other disabilities, um, so there's, it's not just about wheelchairs, but it is mostly about wheelchair stuff, um, but yeah, uh, so I'm really proud of that, and I'm super duper proud and thankful, uh, to my friend who helped me organize it, uh, there will hopefully, fingers crossed, be a, a full-scale production of it in the next year or two, um, I think I have some, a, a couple of minor things to work out, some kinks, and um, I think he, uh, my friend and I, need to like read through the script of several times and think of ideas on how we want things to look on stage. Um, but, so that stuff is progressing, and I'm really excited about that. Um, I will put the link down and in the notes I will put the link to the um, to the short film that I was an extra in down in the notes and also I created an album like for the musical um, that I wrote which is available like on iTunes um, Google Music Amazon Music whatever uh, all those kind of things Spotify Pandora I guess I'm not really sure I have uh, I, I go through a website that handles all that for me um, I think that's about it. Um, anyway, 
Thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that bell so you get notifications. Okay.